dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. We're at a period in time where the human race has supposedly developed enough to know that torturing people is wrong. Now it's not just wrong, it's inhumane and there are plenty of laws nowadays to help protect people from what is deemed as torture in this day and age. However, there are people out there who are part of the establishment who feel that torture is a reasonable punishment. People including prison guards and healthcare professionals. Now the following video is not from the UK, it's from a prison in the United States. I'm also not entirely sure when this video was taken, although it appears to be incredibly recent. Before I play the video, I'm going to give you a 60 second recap on some of the torture methods that were implemented during the Middle Ages, between the years of 500 AD and 1500 AD. I've grabbed and edited down some clips from a history channel in order just to name some of the most inhumane methods of torture and then I'll play the video in its entirety. Please be aware that you may find the footage upsetting but if we don't call out this kind of behaviour now then it will continue to be used and will spread to use in other prisons if it's not already and other countries again if it's not already. The Pillory Thumb screws. Breaking wheel. Burning at the stake. Iron chair. The rack. Locked up for nearly nine months and counting, accused of assault with body fluids, or in other words, spitting on an officer. Her mother continues to speak out and plead for her daughter's release. Fox 10's Justin Lum is live at MCSO headquarters with more. Just well, Linda, Vangelina Gloria says she's reached out to MCSO and Sheriff Penzone several times with no luck. She claims what her daughter is accused of stems from a serious mental health episode and the system isn't helping. Valentina Gloria just turned 20, spending her birthday in the Lower Buckeye Jail. Her mother is praying that won't happen again, but she's still waiting for her daughter to be released. She says Valentina is struggling with several mental illnesses. Autism, bipolar, schizophrenia, borderline functioning, PTSD, and sexual abuse survivors. Valentina is accused of spitting on a Maricopa County officer while being strapped to a table. She is strapped like a star and her arms are, are tied and so are her legs. Gloria says this happened in December of 2018. Valentina came home, but two months later, police arrested Valentina for attacking a nurse during a mental health crisis. She returned to Maricopa County Jail, but would not be released, held on the felony of spitting on an officer. Valentina is now approaching nine months in Lower Buckeye Jail, an all-male facility. Now she's on suicide watch again and all due to being mismedicated, mistreated. Gloria told her daughter's story here at Puente Human Rights Movement headquarters, where nearly a dozen formerly detained people spoke out against ICE detention centers and state-run prisons. Gloria just wants to hug her daughter again and get her help. I'm out here because that's not okay for anybody, not for my child, not for anybody to be treated like that. And I don't understand how the system allows that to happen, but yet it continues to happen every day because she still remains there. MCSSP letter did 12-31-2018 for inmate Valentina and Gloria, T-516-182. New therapy restraints time two hours for patient safety at 12.50 hours per Marcella Baker, PA-1863 Henry. Current time is 12.55 hours. Sergeant Waters, Adam A-338 on the camera, staff present. 
Uh, Smith, Bravo 1693. Hoffman, Adam 8382. Vasquez Adam 3773. Garcia Rose 3317. Sergeant Waters Adam 8338. So you want to get up, right? Yes. Do you need to use the bathroom? Yes. Number one or number two? Okay. We'll start with that one. Start with the left leg. Take her out. Yep. You want to double lock that You're tightening the chain. Because she she barked, she bent her neck. Stop pulling. Yeah, tighter. Gloria, stop. Stop fighting, Gloria. Why do you have to me Hey, give me a spit mask. Give me a spit mask. Gloria, stop spitting. Got you? She get it's on your back, yeah. Okay. Hoffman, out. Garcia, out. Inmate Glory was placed into a spit mask due for officer safety due to her demeanor and her spitting. Um check by RG eight six six. Gloria. Gloria. No. They're hitting me for no reason. They're trying to help me. No, they're not trying to help. They give me all this work for that. I believe it. My is straight. I just won't be having nothing. For what? For the thing you to me. You need to pull yourself a little bit more. I can't. Position up. Okay, we can loosen it a couple. Okay. 
but if we pull her this way, she'll she'll probably be okay, right? Don't you say it? Yeah, let's see if we can bring her up a little bit, guys. No, don't. No. Okay. They've got her good on. They've got her secured tightly on the bottom. The third one yeah. Okay. Just Go ahead and. Yeah. Gloria, stop playing with the mask. Gloria, relax. Do we have a hard return for this side? Does it need to be looser? Okay. Yeah, one click. One click. Listen to me. You need to relax. Understand me? Are we good on restraints? Yes. Okay. You're okay. Current time is 1313. Power off. Good night, all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos comment like it all helps if you're looking for something else to watch up top there is my latest video down the bottom there is a video that youtube recommends for you